presentation I'll just show you the basic functionality of the new uh, feature called pass-through authentication in Azure. It's a new authentication form that you could compare to a hybrid identity, something between Azure uh, cloud identities and also ADFS identities. So uh, let me just get started. So first let me start off by creating a new account in Access Directory. Um, let's call this Frederick test account. Frederick set the UPN for it. Provide a super secret password. And then let's sync that user to our S Active Directory. So let's force that using the Azure AD Connect. Let's load the PowerShell. So it is sync. Sorry. And then let's do start AD sync was called sync. There we go, sync cycle policy delta. And we should in a short while be able to see Frederick listed here. Okay, in the meanwhile, let's just uh, provide him with access to this machine. So let's just sign up. And I'll be signing in with his domain credentials. Just try to give him some permissions to sign in. Again, for a break. And there we go. And we should hopefully have assigned or have uh, created the user in active directory in the cloud. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Test. Let's assign him a license. Yeah. Location Denmark. Yes. And save. Close. And close. Let's try to sign in with his account. 
we'll go to PTA. Glass TK. Frederick PTA. Dryas and type in our domain credentials. Click sign in. And we'll be authenticated against the on premises active directory. We'll select the time zone. Copenhagen. Click save. And we're good to go. Let's assist it from. Uh, Windows 10, also Windows 7 PC. So we sign in here and let's try Chrome. So let's go to callloadoffice.com. Type in Fred at DK drives, drives, DK, and we'll see we'll be redirected and signed in automatically. How awesome is that? Let's try from an Internet Explorer. Go to the same page. Slow. Another tap. And here we go. Let's try again. Fred, Fred, tap. PTA, dry us. And we'll be redirected and signed in as well. Let's try Office. So let's try Excel. And you see that it will actually sign me in automatically. I just have to type in my credentials or EPN so it will probably save that for next time. Click save and it should sign me in automatically. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching.